Okay, I ended up with two baking dishes and another, there you go, cake pan full. Alright, and you say, what about that mashed up banana you were talking about earlier? I'm glad you asked. We're going to get to that in just a minute. Those look good. I'm going to stick a toothpick in these to see if they're all the way done. And if they are, I'm going to take them out. Obviously, and then put some more in. Actually, I'm going to bake a batch of the biscuits before I do another uh, batch of muffins. That way the muffin tin can cool off. You never want to start muffins or biscuits in a hot pan. biscuit dough.
to knead the dough. You do need to do that uh, to build some texture for your quick bread biscuit here. But we don't want to over knead. Okay, so take my little baker's helper here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now. Yeah. Flour in there for my hands. And I used one of these dishes here that I've sprayed down in the bottom. Let me uh, get flour all over the outside of that. It'll be easier for me to handle. There you go. Pinch off a little bit. Give it a little shape. Pop it down. Give it a little. You kind of roll it around in the flour. Give it a little shape, flop it down. I'm going to pinch off a bunch of them. There you go. Give it a little shape, flop it down. A little shape, flop it down. A little shape. Not too much. Don't beat it up now. Don't overmix your dough. Okay. Pinch it off. Let's shake. Yeah. Pop it down. Shake. Pop it down. Put them in there tight. Remember, I've got to bake all this other so that the bubbles from the baking powder is going to already be working in them there. All right, so. All right. Hey, what do you think? See, this one here's got all those blueberries and blackberries inside, bits of orange. Let me cut one of them open.